So Honda reached out to me to review something different and amazing. So this is my first 30 days with Mimo. When Honda reached out to me about reviewing Mimo, I wasn't quite sure if it's something that would fit in with uh, my channel and sort of what I'm interested in. But then once I saw some literature on it, I knew I had to have it. So what Mimo does is a robotic lawnmower. I mean, that's basically the gist of it. Honda was nice enough to send out an installer to install it in my yard. What they use is just some wire and stakes to build a boundary for Mimo. Mimo is not, does not have GPS or anything built in, so it goes to the wire and back. So it can't go past the wire. The wire is its boundary. So what it does is you calculate, you put how big of a dimension of your yard or how much you laid out with the wire into Mimo, it calculates how long it will need to cut that amount of space and that's how long it will run. So in that initial setup, you put the size of your lawn, it'll tell you how many days it needs to run to accomplish keeping your lawn at a certain height because it's not really cutting your lawn in the traditional sense. It isn't once a week going out and cutting it down. So it's really just trimming it daily to keep it at a manageable length. You can set the height to what you want. There's all kinds of settings in there and we won't get into that right now. One main feature that is important to everybody, that would be the anti-theft measure. So you have this rolling around your lawn, you have a neighbor that sees it or somebody just happens to be driving by and think, well, that would be cool, I want it and they pick it up and take it. The minute you pick Mimo up off the ground, it senses that it's been lifted up and then when you initially set it up, you put in a four digit passcode. So you need that four digit passcode to get it back up and running. So anybody that tries to take little man off the lawn, they just have a big paperweight essentially. He does his movements and goes out until his battery gets to about 5%, 10%. Then he goes back home and he docks, recharges, and then goes back out. I have mine to set up at every day from one to six to cut. And we've had quite a few people stop in the road looking at what in the heck is going on on my front lawn. So uh, it's a conversation starter. Uh, I've had people deliver food, ask me what was going on. Uh, just a lot of UPS, the, the mail people, literally anybody that's come to my house, visitors obviously, uh, and they wonder what's going on. So uh, yeah, it's Mimo's pretty cool. We just call ours Mimo because my daughter equates that to Nemo, so he's stuck with Mimo. I know some other people that have this particular uh, robotic lawnmower and they have different names. So what it has underneath is just a disc with three blades, almost like razor blades. Comes with replaceable ones and you can order replaceable ones later on if you need to but they rotate and then that's what actually cuts the lawn down. And I was told by the installer that every time Mimo goes out, it rotates the blades a different direction. So it has sharpness on both sides. So that way you don't have quicker wear. It can use actually both sides of the blades. Now, the downside with having those blades and that short amount of room Mimo has underneath is even a twig, an eighth of an inch round will jam Mimo up. Now I've had that happen where Mimo just goes out and then he's laying in the front yard. I'm like, what in the heck is going on? And I go out there, flipped him over and he had just a very small branch, not much bigger than this, trapped underneath the, the blades. So you have to be careful of that. You also have to be careful of large dips and divots because Mimo will get stuck in there. Also, if it rains, it's, it's waterproof. There's no issue with having to get it in if it rains or anything, he's perfectly fine. But you don't want him to run through standing water. You don't want to wash them off. You don't want anything to get up underneath because that's where the, all the electronics are, but anything that goes over the top and shed should be perfectly fine. So my experience with Mimo over the first 30 days has been pretty positive. Uh, the main thing is I don't have to worry about mowing that section of the lawn anymore. Um, and then the other thing that's really cool is the guy explained to me, the installer, is that if you ever wanted to expand or say you moved and you want to take Mimo somewhere else, you can add to the wire that you have. So like in here, if I wanted to add farther out or over, I could actually just sort of cut my wire, use some wire nuts, some weatherproof wire nuts, and then run it out and actually expand Mimo open, add that, that dimension to Mimo so he knows he's got more yard to cut, and then he'll do the calculations and then that will be added in right away. It's nothing very complicated. Uh, when they said they were gonna send out someone to install it, I thought maybe it was gonna be super complex, 
but it really wasn't. I actually took it out of the box, had it charging before the guy even got here. So I did the initial setup of putting in my password, getting all that set up. And then what he did is he laid out the area, put the wire down, they used some stakes. And then also like within a couple weeks, you can't even see the wire, the stakes anymore. The grass just grows around it. So overall, really good experience with Mimo. Uh, like I said, some of the downfalls are if you have large trees, we're underneath large trees right now, so that's why Mimo can't do this area. Um, but if you have large trees with branches, if you have a lot of divots in your yard, a lot of angles, um, a lot of standing water, uh, Mimo's probably not for you. For me, I think the ideal person is that lives in a subdivision, which is where we used to live, and have sort of cookie cutter lawns that are one dimension and easily uh, easily cut with a regular lawnmower. That will tell you what Mimo can handle. But some of the other things that the installer told me about is that they can do things that they call, I believe he called it lollipop, which is where they'll go around, they'll go up to a tree and then he can circle around it and come back and it's the way they lay out the wiring to where Mimo will cut everything. So it can go around trees, it can go around obstacles. Uh, I know a guy that has one where his goes through the back gate into the backyard, cuts the backyard and the front yard. So. It's very versatile. I would do some research to make sure that it fits for you, but if it does, I highly recommend picking this up. It's the greatest tool a lazy man could have. That's gonna be it for this video. Big shout out to Honda for sending this out for review. Thank you so much for that. If you enjoyed the video, you can hit the thumbs up. If you have to subscribe, you can do that down below. Leave me a comment about Mimo if you have any questions in the comment section, and I will answer those. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that. I got other posts coming for, about Mimo, uh, some pictures, some photos, some behind the scenes stuff. So you guys, make sure you follow me there, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.